In this video, we will learn how to work with archives and compression on Unix. I'm starting with my home directory on the training cluster, and I'm going to create a new directory, temporary directory, they're all called TMP. So I just created it, and then I'll CD into that directory. Because it's a new directory, it does not have anything yet. And then I'm going to use uh, the following command, uh, wget, to download a file from the internet. So I'm going to say wget followed by the URL, http uh, bitly forward slash bash file. And if I run the command as it is, it will download this file and will save it into a local file called bash file. But I want to give it a different name with an extension .zip. So I'm going to call it bfiles uh, zip minus capital O bfiles zip. And I run this command, and this command downloaded my file. So the file is 243 kilobytes. If you do ls minus l, you will actually see the file, uh, the size of the file in bytes. If you want to see the fi uh, file size in kilobytes, what you can do is pass minus h flag to ls, and that will show roughly 244 kilobytes. Now. This is a zip file. So a zip is a Windows archive that is both um, a, uh, an archiving tool. So an archiving tool means it takes lots of files and packs them into a single file. And it's also a compression utility. So two tools in one. Let's unpack this file. I'm going to say unzip followed by the file name. And here it expanded everything into a directory called data shell in the current directory. So let me remove the actual zip files where I'm not going to need it anymore. So here we have a directory called data shell. Let's see what's inside of it. So inside of data shell, we have lots of subdirectories and uh, there are a couple of files as well. So this is a file, this is a file and everything else is a subdirectory. Okay, so we're currently inside the TMP folder and inside of this folder we have a directory data shell with lots of stuff inside. Let's actually create an archive, a tar archive out of this directory. So in Unix, unlike in Windows, in Unix there are two separate tools. One is for archiving, so archiving taking lots of files or lots of directories and putting them into a single file, and then compression, which is uh, reducing uh, reducing the uh, size of the files and the directories on disk via mathematical algorithm. I'm going to create an archive first, and then I'm going to compress it. I'm going to type tar, create vf. I'll explain what it means in a second. Then I'm going to say uh, data.tar, and then data shell. So what this command will do, it will create a tar archive. Uh, cvf are the flags that I'm passing to tar. And this is unique to tar command, that in this case, you don't see the minus uh, or dash in front of uh, the uh, the flag. And this is some, something that is unique to, to this tar command, so you don't need a dash here. And the letters are there are three flags, C, V, F. C means that we are creating an archive. V means that it stands for visualize. So while we're creating the archive, print the names of all files and directories that are being included into this archive. And F means that whatever follows is the name of the archive. OK, so we're creating an archive called data.tar. And into this archive, we're putting everything from data shell. So let's run it. OK, as you can see, we put a lot of uh, files and directories inside of this archive. So let's do ls minus l on data.tar. And it is actually quite large. So let's see what it is in kilobytes. And it is 740 kilobytes. So this is roughly three times bigger than what we had originally, the original bfiles.zip uh, file. And the reason is that our file tar, uh, data.tar is not compressed yet. So let's pass it through gzip utility that will compress this file. And now let's do ls minus lh on this file again. And now it's 203 kilobytes. The file, the archive is compressed. And as you can see, this is slightly more efficient compression than one we had with the Windows zip utility, where the size was 244 kilobytes. Now the, all the same files and directories uh, take uh, a little bit less space. So uh, let me erase uh, the original data shell. Here I have my data.tar.gz file. So .tar means that 
it's a tar archive containing many files inside. And those GZ means that it's a gzipped, so compressed tar archive. So in this case, you actually have two file extensions, and this is perfectly uh, normal in Unix. So if I want to unpack it, I can do it uh, in one step or in two steps. Uh, so let me show you uh, a two-step process. So first I'm going to uncompress it and then I'm going to unpack it. So to uncompress this file I'll type similar to gzip. Now I'm going to type gunzip followed by the file name. Now the file is uh, much bigger. So we uncompress it and then I'm going to extract this archive. So tar extract vf followed by the archive name. So here we are extracting. X means extract. V means again visualize. And F means uh, that whatever is following is the name of the archive that we are unpacking. Okay, so when I run this command, it will unpack everything again into the data shell directory. And then I can actually now remove the archive. So uh, let me type the following command history to show the history of previously typed commands. And uh, by two steps, I meant this. So first we uncompress the archive and then we unpacked it. So now uh, let's replace uh, the two steps, uh, both when creating the archive and when extracting it, with a single step. So the first two steps we're going to uh, replace are creating the archive, so this command, and this command. And we're going to put these two commands into a single command. So we're starting from the data shell directory. This is a directory. Right? And we are going to be creating a archive, but this time we are adding another flag, Z, for compression. So we're creating an archive that I'm going to call datatar.gzip. And into this archive, I'm going to put everything from data shell. This single command replaces these two commands, creating the archive and compressing this archive. Okay. So let's run it. And now here we have the gzip tar archive. Let's do ls minus l on this archive. And we see that, actually, let me do minus h for human readable format to see the kilobytes. We have 203 kilobytes. So the archive we wanted to get. OK. Let me erase the original uh, data shell directory so that we're left just with the archive. And now let me unpack it. So just type in history. Remember that the commands for unpacking were uncompressing, g unzip, followed by the extraction. So let's just put these two commands into a single command. I'm going to type tar x vf z, followed by the archive name. So again, we are x for extraction, v for visualize, f means whatever is in the next argument is the name of the archive, and z means uncompression. So uncompress the archive and extract all files from it in a single step. And now you see that you actually have all the all this stuff inside of data shell unpacked now.